practice been and the focus been? No, we've had a great, a great week. We had yesterday off, so went two days and, and went hard, got a lot of stuff, and just really focused on us and, and kind of getting back to the basics defensively and offensively. You know, just things I thought the last few games we haven't been as sharp with. So we've had a great week of practice, and I know they'll be ready to go. And now we're in our, kind of our two-day prep going into Minnesota. Is there sometimes a natural drift away from principles or fundamentals in, in the course of a season? You know, sometimes I think you get so scout-specific, and, you know, you're in that grind of, okay, now we're preparing for this game, and we're doing this, and we're doing that, where we have to kind of – it's good to kind of reset and just get back to okay, what do what are we about? <laughs> what do what do we need to do? Um, and I thought that's what we really tried to focus in on this week. Jay was even saying just she felt like the Northwestern game, people said Northwestern game, even the Ohio State game, was just not the way you have been emphasizing defensively. What did you kind of see from that? Do you want to kind of have your team face? again? Just our, our core values, our, our principles, like you know. We talk all the time about being able to keep people in front of us and winning two dribble wars. I mean, we just got completely driven on downhill, and, and we were. It was a lot of just one-on-one -on -one coverage instead of team defense. You know, five people guarding the ball. So I just think even positioning and intensity-wise, you know, I just think we were we weren't we weren't as sharp as what we needed. Was a takeaway from Ohio State for you guys collectively? I mean, that we can play with anyone in the country. Uh, and, up 17 and uh, the other takeaway is we got to learn how to finish games and, and and win games and win hard games against unbelievable teams on the road and taking care of the ball being able to handle that and and playing with poise you know and, and we didn't do that during that stretch we, we just didn't against a you know high pressure team in a, in a hostile environment we have got to learn as a team how to be able to you know to, to stay poised in those moments uh, and and like I told them, without I, I don't have enough timeouts to keep calling timeout every time that, that we were in trouble. So we're going to have to have that on the floor quickly, uh, our responses. You wanted to win, but, but did, did your team need that moment in any capacity at all? Or not the moral victory, but like, was that a learning lesson that just kind of had to happen in the fire? You know, I, I don't, you know, we lost it. So we're going to approach it as, yeah, we're going to learn from it. And, didn't go our way but hopefully we can go back and be like okay when other teams press us and pressure us and or that we're in a tight game in those moments okay this is what we learned from Ohio State now this is what we know we have to do hopefully we'll be able to use that moment and that that failure and adversity uh to for a positive I mean that's how we always look at it so what are keys against Minnesota I mean we get we got rebound we got to take care of the ball you know they're they rebound at a high level and, and they don't they don't press and it's not gonna look like in Ohio State, but they're very they, they're gonna pressure you and, and they're very handsy, they're gonna look to get steals. We have to do a really good job of just valuing the possessions, taking care of the ball, and like I said, rebound is MVP. What did you see maybe that Ohio State did against Adalia in that in that game and did you have something that you maybe try to emphasize with her moving forward or, or is it just one of those games? I really think it was just one of those games. I really do. You know, she got in that foul trouble early, and I think from there it was just she has to, she has to, and that's a growing and learning experience for her. Okay, you get two fouls early, you sit. Being able to stay mentally locked in and, and mentally sharp when you come back in, um, and and how can you impact the game in that second half, even though you didn't play in the first half. And I think that's just something she has to she has to learn. I, I don't necessarily even be watching it. You know, think that they did. I mean, obviously they're good and they're they're strong and they can slide. Um, but she still got some got some looks. It was just the foul trouble I think kind of took her out of her rhythm. Hopefully I'm paraphrasing you right from the radio on Monday, but will you get to reevaluate expectations for this team over the course of the season? I think it's it's any any season, right? Like whatever it is, whether you're expected to win or you're not, like it, it's evolving and hopefully it's evolving in the positive way where okay now we're winning a little bit more, so now we have to you know, how are we gonna handle that and, and you know, now the expectation, now you have a number by you, so everyone's going to, they're going to attack these games a little bit differently because it's an opportunity for them to, to get a, a, a top 25 win. So those things, like as the course of the season goes on, we constantly talk about it. We constantly, you know, I think it's it's the best way to just talk and be honest with each other. And, and I'm always honest with them and I tell them, like, like we have to be right. You know, no one's going to, we're not coming in under the radar anymore. Now when you have a number by your name, uh, just like when we play someone that's ranked, 
you, you want to beat them because you want to be able to have that that top 25 win for your resume and obviously any game in the Big Ten people want to win so yeah we're constantly evaluating and evolving with with expectations and and how we handle them what is that number meant for you guys just in phone calls recruiting I'm assuming that's the biggest thing for you yeah I mean for me like a number doesn't you know it doesn't matter because you still got to play the games and, and but for recruiting purposes and and I think for just like getting starting to earn that respect and, and change the program change the narrative of this program uh, that's been the biggest thing for us when did you start seeing validation points you know i know it's a journey of a season, but when did you start seeing validation points that your players started to understand okay we're pretty good this is going to work you know i think every you know every day every every game that we went out and competed i know everyone kind of points back to that notre dame scrimmage is is and i i'm agree with them on the same way with that and was kind of like okay like we we might have something here and then just every day uh they continue to work their mindset and then the more we compete the more games we have um they continue to to prove and, and improve uh on, on what we've done and you have people like jen wanting to come to practice <laughs> <laughs> like, is that a validation moment for coach of like, hey, I've got it. Like, they, they're buying it and I've got it. No, you're, you're right. You know, I think it just shows the toughness and, and what we want this program to be about, really. So, uh, that's that's just her and her character. So, but when you have character kids like that, and tough kids like that, then you got something special. Is that something you teach about the physical toughness, the willingness to take some blows, yeah. play through pain? Yeah. discomfort is that something you can teach or they come off the tree like that yeah i think you can you can try to instill it you can try to get it a little bit you know more but i think a lot of that's just it you know. do you sense that when you are the recruiting trail yeah look at the portal yeah definitely that's yeah. something that we we want tough kids and, and we look at that we try to do that as best we can Jen specifically, did you have to dial her back, like, charge-wise, like, she's not the biggest kid, but, like, she seems like she plays she, physically and is on the floor. She does. She's so tough. She took two the other day in practice where, literally, like, she flew in the air and came down. Like, she's just a tough kid. She's willing to give up her body at any moment, and, and you don't find too many kids like her, so we'll, we'll take it. Do you have to have a conversation with Adelia, just like you had any other player, that this is just another game? I don't care yeah. how many people in the stands are going to be there for you. Um, Oh, with minute. Yeah. yeah. You know, I haven't. I haven't okay. yet, but I, I probably will put a couple. Uh, I'll remind her, yeah. Because she seems to be, have like super energy as the yes. game starts. And, yes. and that can yeah. result in the two fouls that she got exactly. against Ohio State. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about it, but she's ready to bounce back. She knows she didn't perform well the other day, and she'll be ready to bounce back. Jen, I see in here probably early practice, like almost every day, um, that are coming here. I mean, what does that kind of do? I mean, do you feel like the team kind of follows that seat when they see her in here working it's, like she does? Yeah, I mean, it's again, it's what we want, it's what we try to create that culture. You can see everyone in here, you know, getting extra work in, but Jen has her routine, and, and I think it just sets the tone, and now everyone feels like they need to be in there. So, no, no doubt about it, there's a correlation between her getting in the gym and her shooting real well. So. Tell more about the conversations you've had with the team. You'd rather be upfront about it. Is that like a day-to-day -day thing? Is it like, okay, we're building some momentum. Like, this is the right time yeah. to, to have these talks. Yeah, it's definitely not day-to-day. -day. It's just when I feel like it's, you know, the right time. Or I'll put a couple comments in here or there, you know. But And I'll remind them in film today as we get into Minnesota that, hey, you know, they're going to – it's a little bit different. This is our first game. Like, yeah, we're the same team. We have to do what we do. But just know people are going to be – they're going to be coming at you a little bit more. Oh, good. Awesome.